All right, first tonight, no takers to rebuild the Washington Bridge, at least not under the current specs. Bids to build the new westbound span would do in noontime today, and right now there's nothing on the table. I'm Gene Valicenti. And I'm Emily Bowles, so now what? state leaders, they already have laid out a plan of what they plan to do. NBC 10's Gabrielle Caracciolo is live in East Providence with where we go from here. Gabrielle. Emily Jean, right now the state is reviewing the request for proposals and looking at what they need to change to entice companies to come rebuild the Washington Bridge. It's unclear, though, how long that's going to take or how much of a delay that's going to cause in getting a new bridge open. It's back to the drawing board for the Rhode Island Department of Transportation. No companies have submitted a bid to rebuild the condemned side of the Washington Bridge. Bids for the project, valued at over $300 million, were due at noon today. The state says more than 2,000 vendors were notified of the project. 67 viewed the solicitation, but only one asked questions. They aren't sharing what company that was, but the questions in the online application portal show there were concerns about the scope, risks, and timeline of the project. In May, writing, they understood extending the due date may seem counterintuitive, but they believed it was needed to develop a reasonable concept design, estimate, and proposal. Rideout responded, saying no changes to the timeline would be made. The state had hoped to name the company to replace the bridge on July 12th, with work on the project expected to start later this summer. The goal was to have a new bridge built by August of 2026. There were up to $10 million in incentives to companies if they got the job done even faster. A rideout spokesperson says they purposefully chose an aggressive timeline and added incentives with the goal of completing the rebuild as quickly as possible. In a statement, rideout said, well, expediency is still the goal. Given that the initial RFP did not produce a response, we will now be reviewing and potentially adjusting factors affecting contractor participation to the RFP before rebidding the project. The demolition and rebuild are separate projects supposed to be taking place simultaneously. Last week, the McKee administration awarded the demo project to Warwick-based Aetna Bridge Company. They say they can get it done by the end of January for $45.7 million, millions more than the state originally estimated. The governor says building a bridge as quickly as possible is still the goal, but the state will potentially make changes to the bid request. We are still waiting to hear from many lawmakers following this latest development. It is the afternoon before a long holiday weekend. Many have not responded. Providence Mayor Brett Smiley, however, expressed his disappointment, disappointment, but says he remains hopeful that this can get done as soon as possible. Live in East Providence, Gabrielle Caracciolo, NBC 10 News.